What's going on, y'all? It's your girl, Amaya Desire, and... Jasmine! And we are back for another episode of Queens. Queens. I missed it last week, and I was like, where is the show? Like, what's going on, right? Actually, no, we had a show last week. Why does it feel like my weeks are merging together <laughs> and I missed something? Clearly, I it's am... It's okay. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's a lot going on in the brain. But anyway, right. we're going to dive in and let's talk about the big events that just transpired. Okay. Number one, last scene, it was crazy. I mean, did we feel like the ending was going to happen? The amount of calls, like if I was a side piece, that was trying to still keep in touch with the husband, I mm. wouldn't honestly blow up the phone that much. I mean, all types of hours after day, unless I had a baby on the way. <laughs> no, but but here's the thing though. Remember in the episode where they get caught, what does she say? I made him wear a condom every single time. Mm -hmm. Lies. What, what condom, sis? What kind of condom? Was it invisible? Like, did, right. did, it, did it have holes in it? Like, I... How are I'm, we I'm, feeling? How are we I'm, feeling for Rihanna, though, right now? I'm mortified, quite frankly. Like, I'm mortified. I don't like it. And, you know, furthermore, I'm, I hate that I'm going to be this person, but I'm going to be this person. Damn, like you cheated on her with a white girl and she pregnant? <laughs> Come on, bro. Like, look, it's it's too much because just like she said, because you know in the beginning her reaction was bland. It was so like it she was just so questionable how she felt because but you can't blame her. Like she's literally going through an infidelity. Right. As her husband is going through the most traumatic time of his life, which is a health condition, cancer. Right. You know? So she felt like, no, like he left me with all this baggage. And I feel like he got a, like an easy way out. Now I, she got to pick up the pieces and keep, I feel her resentment right now. And then I, to be smacked with the throwing up on his casket or wherever she threw up at, I'm assuming it was the casket. I feel like she threw up in the casket, but we not, you know, we never going to know at this point. Either yeah. way, it was gross. I feel like it was super disrespectful for her to show up to the funeral yeah. because you could have had that conversation on the side. He's not your husband. This is for family, you know, yeah. and it just, it, it felt, it felt disrespectful all the way around. Like it just was a hot ass mess. And right. I feel for Brianna. I really do. And the idea that she literally thinks to herself, like, I feel like it was real. That's one thing I will say. I really love that she was very honest and real yeah. about it. She said, you know, like, hey, like, this man left me with the baggage. He got off easy. And I think in a situation such as that one, absolutely 100% spot I, on with that. I agree. Yeah, because it's like, for one, Valeria, it would have never happened if Valeria, I mean, what was Valeria's intention of telling Alexis when the calls was happening. She was over here being all little, little sus suspect with her whole mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. like, what was your intention on telling Alexis? When she was kind of like, no, she don't need to know. Like Brianna was kind of like, she don't, she don't need to know, you know? Right, like, she right. was expecting for her to know that he died, that Jeff died. So yeah. like, what was her role for doing that? Do we feel like Valeria overstepped her boundaries? You know, we want you guys to tell us what you think about that. I think she overstepped her boundaries. And I will say that Valeria was having, you know how they have that woman to woman talk. She was having side piece to side piece conversation because that's what she felt like. She was going off of her emotions. Yeah. The whole entire conversation inside of the room when they were talking about him being a cheater, everybody yeah. has some sort of discord, right? Naomi, yeah. Valeria, Jill, they all was having these tit for tat situation, which I thought right. was actually very cool. It was well, well done as far as them um, showing, you know, all the, the different little lines, so to speak. But girl, that was not your place to do that. And it was totally inappropriate. Exactly. It just reminds me of like how of an opportunity. I mean, there's no opportunity there, but it was just like, an opportunity for her to do something, to sabotage, to do something like, 
you know, she she's not my favorite character right now. Y'all let me know. Is she not your favorite character? Because she ain't mine. <laughs> no. Valeria really be trying it for me. She's, she's the villain. Like, one she's one the villain. minute I'd be like, <laughs> and the next minute I'd be like, see, I tried. And then you ruined it. Like, now what you want me to do? Like, right. I, I was I was going to give you a little bit of rope. And I gave you an inch. <laughs> and you took a damn foot. You know what I'm saying? So now we got to right. figure it out. Exactly. I think I think that just you know on the topic of cheating, right? Jill, right? Like we are. Well, I knew, you know, and and I'm I'm wondering if, if the audience felt this. Did y'all feel like she was going to tell Tina? Like, what what did you think was going to happen? I mean, in the beginning, I think that she was. She just felt some type of way. Again, I mean, in the in the ending, she was unraveling how like I cheated on my husband for you and now I'm cheating on you with this chick it's just that and then for Tina to be like it's not about you cheating because I'm married right. it's like they're just both in a cheat fest so it's like I don't feel sorry for any of them and she's just trying to find herself so yeah there was no commitments there I don't even mm -hmm. know we don't really know too much about Tina and like is she divorced is she still right like it's just missing pieces that we don't know yet. So I agree. For them to for her to for her Tina to leave, like the whole scene, like okay, I'll come for you when you're ready. They both just need to separate and just tie loose ends and then come mm -hmm. together when they're ready. Because no, I, think I agree. And her are are a good couple. I think they'll probably be good for each other after she does all her little thotting and trolling. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Mm -hmm. I think that I think that she definitely um, needs to grow. You know, this is this is her first time figuring it. You yeah, know, figuring it out. And I mean, she obviously slept with a Ale uh, what was Ale no, what's the other girl's name? Alexis. Her name Alexis too? No, no. Who, okay, who? she slept. Um, so so I the reporter. I don't remember her name. Yeah, so she slept with her twice apparently because she was like yeah. this is a. Um, like a lapse. This is a two lap situation. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't remember what she said, but or what her name was. But yeah, I to me, I was just like, it was so funny. I wasn't expecting Tina's response actually because of the conversation that they had previously. So I was like, oh, well, okay, <laughs> well, okay, I get it. I mean, I feel like. I don't condone cheating, but I feel like that's the most adult way to handle it in a sense, right? Like, or, or even how Brianna handled it. It's, they're both natural reactions that you can have when it comes to somebody cheating on you. You know what I mean? And I feel like when you get into a space of maturity, it's no longer like, I'm you know, a show ass through it. Right, right. Now, <laughs> the person that, that you cheated you know. on me with, they finna catch an ass whooping, you know, but yeah. that's a whole different situation. So, yeah, I, de <laughs> I definitely yeah. feel it. I definitely feel it. Um, Definitely a lot happening with this. I think this one, this episode for me was very well written just because yeah. they were able to connect cheating to so many different avenues. And I thought that, that exactly. was really... That was well done. Even um, with the JoJo's father with Naomi, because it seems like Valeria, like, because in the last episode we or the re retake that we did, mm -hmm. I was like, did Valeria really know that Naomi was messing with Eric? Because, because she made it seem like she's like, wait a minute, what? Like, right, right, right. I'm confused. So whole time you was so, with her while you was with me, or like, right. Right. So Naomi knew, but apparently Valeria was unaware. Yeah, she wasn't aware. Yeah. I find that kind of interesting, though, because she the probably, interactions. She probably didn't know that Eric slept with Naomi. I think mm. she probably knew Naomi had a thing for Eric, but she probably didn't know that they actually had a flame. Maybe, you know, because she was like, right. it. like, so the whole time JoJo is your daughter? Like that right there. But, but we called it. Remember, we were just kind of like at first we said it was gonna be Eric, and then they had the whole running at the diner with Cameron. Yeah. And like yeah. they don't like what? Like oh, yeah. okay, this is interesting twist. Yeah. That would have been the real twist. But I like the way they kind of took us for that ride for a little bit, and it was like psych. <laughs> Yeah, you know I mean? actually, actually like the fact that Eric is a dad. Who did you want to be a dad? Cam or Eric? Because 
I like the twist. I, I actually like it. I was it's hoping. I, I I was kind of like ill camera, like not ill camera, but like ill. <laughs> I mean, camera. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> it's so cliche, but okay. But what? I'm actually excited to see how this might change Eric for the better because now he has to make a decision. He has to show up differently. He has to change. You know. Yeah. So I'm definitely interested to see how that how that dynamic. And also how JoJo was going to take this because she'd been asking and her oh. and Naomi acted like she didn't know. Yeah. So. I mean, like, it, that, you know, that scene where she told Eric that, you know, that JoJo could have, you know, could be or is the is his daughter. It was kind of yeah. weird because it's like, would you as a father have told the daughter immediately Cause some guys be like, nah, she's gonna know today. <laughs> no, we're not. Right, 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 right. So yeah, I, I think love just... the maturity in that too, because immature men, which there are a lot of, <laughs> they'll be like, nope, she gonna find out today. I'm, I'm busting through doors. Right. <laughs> so I just love that scene where they were sitting in the basement, or they got locked in the basement, and he gave her the first beer. Like that thought that was really cute. That kind of like made me like Eric to be the dad even more. Right. So, yeah, it was real cute. But yeah. I I actually think that I like the way that it panned out and I'm hoping that the conversation between Naomi and Jojo go really well because mm -hmm. we don't know yet. But yeah. I do think that because it's happening um because it's happening after the death of Jeff, right? And like during the funeral time, not not necessarily the funeral, but you know what I mean, like happening after the fact that they've just been to a funeral and the, and people always have these different thoughts going through their heads when death is in the picture so yeah. i feel like this might have like a moment where they can be cohesive enough and jojo will be open enough to having a conversation with naomi in regards to like hey like i i wasn't sure you know i i, I kind of thought and i knew it was a strong possibility you know, mm -hmm. and I'm wondering if they're going to take a DNA test. Like, do, do they need confirmation? Right. You know, that was kind of weird because um, the way Naomi told Eric about what happened with the abortion, I was kind of confused. Mm -hmm. I didn't really understand that explanation. Did you? She was so talking I think about how she was going to like... She somewhere. said she was... Right. She said she was leaving, right? Or she, she got on the road and drove. Yeah. And she was going through her head as to whether or not she was going to have an abortion. And then she decided, like, and initially she said she was going to have the abortion. And then she decided against it. And so that was that. So, yeah. Okay. I mean, right. But my thing is, like, you didn't question it. Like, Eric didn't think, like, oh, my God, she's had a baby. Yeah. Possibly could be mine. Like, I, I'm just so many things going on in my head like mm. I guess with him he he was in the beginning he's mentioned that he how he was in other relationships too so right that's why he I mean she was kind of like an afterthought yeah <laughs> like I've been on my second marriage let alone Valeria dipping and dabbling so I mean she wasn't mm. even in his mind during that time so it it could have been but I you know and just touching on that for a second like just how would any of us feel, right? And perhaps there's somebody in the audience and our audience who has had this experience, but how would you feel like knowing your dad? Like, I don't even think we could fathom the idea of meeting your dad for the first time at 20, 20. years old. Yeah. Like, is yeah, I, I wouldn't know what to do. I mean, that's why he asked, would you want to really know who your father is at this age? Yeah as successful as you are right mm -hmm. now with your mindset. Mm -hmm. And then she was saying how it's like a missing piece. And I get that, you know, cause I, my father was around. My mom and dad have been, been married for 23 years. Not a lot of people can mm -hmm. say that. Right, know? right, right. So like if I was just to revert back and be like, if he wasn't in the picture and I never knew who he was or his personality, I would still feel like, who am I? It would just always be like me chasing, like where do I get my characteristics from? I mean, I know right. my mom, I know who she is, but do I get my intelligence from my father or, <laughs> you know, right. Yeah. I'm this from him. It was, it's just always a question. So I see why she was acting at the way she was acting. Like, like, yeah. dad, like it's, I mean, is he Arabian? Like, where is he from? Like, you know, <laughs> I get it. You want to know. Yeah. I think that she definitely handled herself 
you know, and I will say that I feel like JoJo has handled herself quite well. You know, she Mm -hmm. is acting as a 20 year old and she's acting as somebody who feels incomplete. Right. And so I think that the, just the narrative of having this storyline um, creates a good dialogue for other people maybe to have those type of conversations with, you know, their kids or their, their parents in the, in the dynamic of like, if they don't know who their other father, you know, father or mother is, Mm -hmm. um, like just having a conversation of maybe like, Hey, how are you feeling? Is that something you want to know or whatever have you? But I really, I feel like they, they casted Jojo very well. Like, I'm not sure who she is. I need to look, I need to look into that, but I I like her for this part a lot. Yeah, for sure. And then we don't even know anything about Lil Muffin or Lil... Yeah, Lil Muffin. She, uh, (laughs) she's still in rehab, right? Or or she's doing something. Oh, she's still (laughs) with (laughs) <laughs> I, I was cracking up when they read that uh when Jojo read the note. I said, Well what in the hell? What happened to her? She had to translate it. <laughs> she said, Oh, she's thinking about you. I said, Well, that's <laughs> not what that sounded like. So I'm thoroughly confused, but okay, cool. Like that's what's up. Yeah. So uh I think my only <laughs> my only beef with this episode Ain't none of them kids cry, bruh. Ain't ain't none of them kids, like not one. Now, one well, of one of the the son was like, one daughter was crying, can't stop crying. Yeah, so but we he ain't see those it. tears. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> but he I mentioned that a head child head. was crying. So yeah, I mean, it's hard. I, I, look, I don't know about child actors, but it's probably hard to really get the kids to cry. Who knows? Yeah, but, I agree with you. It definitely is. I I think that so, just. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> as far as predictions for the next episode with Jill, like, okay, so now I'm assuming that Jill and Tina are no longer a thing, and then she's just probably going to continue exploring, you know, her new lesbian lifestyle. Jill about to hit that thought phase real good. <laughs> that thought phase, she finna call the reporter up and be like, "We about to see some spicy, I'm spicy free. scenes." when is the next outing because i'm gonna be there you know what i mean so are we gonna see brianna hold the side pieces hand throughout this process is she she better not i want to know what brianna's gonna do i cannot wait for this next episode to figure out what she's gonna do because like it, imagine if that was you right now finding out your dead husband has a future baby on the way and then you have to tell these five children that they're gonna have a a, a sibling, an interracial sibling, which is going to be different culture, different customs, you know. So it's going to be a wow. hot. It's going to be a hot mess. <laughs> it's going to be a hot mess. I want to see it too, but I am very curious because I feel like that's not her responsibility. And yeah. let's hope and that this doesn't get. Want to deprive your children from not knowing their little brother or sister? No, 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 no. I feel like that's not her responsibility. As in. She going. She got family, right? Because I'm grieving a husband and yeah. taking care of five kids, and you are also a mistress and a side yeah. piece that I had to deal with. You That's know, true. I think it was unfair for her to take on all that. And I hope that this doesn't get messy mm-hmm. in the sense of you know her wanting a piece of Brianna or wanting a piece of him. You mm-hmm. know, mm-hmm. now that she's carrying his child, because you we we've seen some crazy plots where shit yeah. like that happens. So yeah. I'm yeah. hoping that that's not the case. I want Brianna to grieve and heal and be there for her kids. Yeah. Um, and, and and as, so we all know that Brianna is played by Eve and we know that Eve is actually going to be taking a hiatus. So, because in real life, she actually just became a mom. So mm-hmm. I'm trying to figure out how they're going to bundle that into the storyline. I'm assuming that it's a good thing that she's supposed to be grieving, right? Mm-hmm. And that all this has happened because they could easily just say like, she's taking time, like, you know, like she can't handle this right now. Let's postpone our tour. She yeah. needs to go do X, Y, Z. So I'm wondering how the remainder of the season is going to play out if she's not going to be here for much, much longer. So, you know. Right. So, and then who we got left? We got to figure out how JoJo is going to take the new news. I think JoJo will be okay, actually. I think she'll be a little, I, I think she'll be angry, norm, which is normal, right? I think she'll be nor- angry um, at first, but not that angry that she won't want to get to know Eric because 
I feel like had he made the bear thing more natural, it might not have been as bad. Like, it might not be too bad. Because then you're going to put two and two together. You know, like, oh, so you knew you were my dad when we got locked in the basement. And you wanted to have a bear with me. And you didn't want to bring this. You know what I mean? So, like, yeah. I think that's that's my only thing. It's like, bro, like, why you got to do all that? Just sit down, be stuck with the girl. And no, like, he could easily be like, your mom didn't want me to tell you the news. You know, I wanted to respect your mother's wishes. But that puts Naomi in the hot seat, right? And so it's like, do you, you know, are is she willing to take that? Her relationship with JoJo was is here, mm -hmm. and I don't want it to be, you know, I want them to be able to find still stand strong. But I feel like if this conversation comes about, it may not be, you know, it may not be the outcome that we want to see. So we'll just have to wait it out, you know, and. And if Valeria, I don't care what she got going on right now, because I with her. I'm like, she is just the instigated out of all, <laughs> all of that. I, I actually thought she was going to be the person. one to spill the beans. Huh? I actually thought she was going to be the one to spill the beans. Like, I thought she was going to be the one to say, you know, something to JoJo. And I was like, woo. Okay. Right, yo, right. <laughs> I was like, she better not, cause I'm gonna have to fight her through this. <laughs> I'm gonna pull the uh, the the Eve. How are uh, Naomi or yeah. Rana on Alexis? Yeah, <laughs> cause you ain't gonna be just spoiling the news for everybody. Come on, you cannot hold no water. <laughs> yeah, I do feel like she's messy, and messy. I, I, we don't need a messy character. Like, I want her to grow up in the next episode. Yeah, <laughs> right. Or like, find love for real. Like, yeah, because she doesn't know how to love at yeah, all. Yeah, like, do me a favor and figure it out. I get, I get it. Your mom abandoned you. You have some issues. That's we all have issues, but you gotta figure out how to heal and grow from that. Because right now, you are just messy, sis. Like. You are messy. But this is like episode four, so we got some more seasons to find out what happens next. Mm -hmm. So you all place your comments on the description box below. And yes. Tune for the next episode. Yes, we will be back. Leave us your comments, leave us your thoughts, and listen, let's, <laughs> I'm ready for episode five. I'm just yeah. ready for the entire season. Just load it all up. Like, just Netflix so it. at this point. Like, like just load it all up. On that um, <laughs> Yes, exactly. Right. So, you know where to find us. We'll be here next week, same time. And, of course, Queens comes on Tuesdays at 10 p.m. on um, ABC. So, don't forget to watch. And we will see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>